Hi folks, my name is Vitaly, if you don't already know, and in this very short video, what I want to do is give you a quick crash course on how to create a high quality Google ad through the same template that I've been using for a very long time to get really good numbers. And in terms of numbers, here's actually a snapshot of one of my campaigns in Google ads, and the main numbers you want to look at are up here, and if you know anything about Google ads, these are very impressive numbers. Uh, quite a few uh, numbers of clicks, very high CTR, average cost per click is under 30 cents, high conversion rate. Uh, and uh, conversion rate is uh, over 2%. Now, most of the time, people can't even get close to these types of numbers. They generally can get a lot of clicks, but CTR, which is click-through rating to their ads, is usually under 1%. So almost 5% is huge. Average cost per click, a lot of people pay dollars for each click that they get. I'm paying under 30 cents for most of my clicks, and I'm going to show you how I do that. And my conversions are very high as well. And generally speaking, uh, well, before I get to that part, let me just explain that this is a quick crash course on how we create high quality Google ads. There is a full course that I provide that's in the link uh, of uh, in, in the description of this video and in the pinned comment. If you're watching this on YouTube and it's on my site and on a button underneath the video if you're watching it there. But it'll take you through a seven lesson course, a seven class course, which takes you through everything that I've been doing over the past 10 years on Google ads to succeed with it. And basically overall an online business. So I teach you about how to succeed inside Google ads, outside Google ads. Uh, so you don't just have to rely on that. But if you want to check that out do it after this video there's actually an awesome deal offered for that moving on the general premise behind how I personally set up high quality Google Ads that get very high uh, numbers of clicks but very laser targeted traffic for low cost is that I either do one of two things. I create an ad that targets a very specific niche topic or I create an ad that targets a very specific product that's popular. Now most times when people create Google Ads unfortunately they make the mistake of trying to target topics not niches that are very popular but don't really have much specifics to it. So for example they'll make something about how to lose weight faster. They'll target some kind of uh, electronics product or something like that. These are very broad topics that have a lot of different branches to it and there's a lot of advertisers that are also advertising under the same keywords and same topics that you're advertising under so you're going to end up spending a lot of money. A specific example of a niche topic would be how to reduce back pain, how to lose belly fat, how to get an ex-girlfriend back, not relationships, not health and fitness. Those are not niches. They're not specific at all. The first ones that I named about lower back pain, those are. And for products, you don't want to target something like, for example, drones or mountain bikes. You want to target specific models of drones that are popular and specific mountain bike models that people actually know about. So when you create ads that target the keywords for those specific products or those specific niche topics, you're only going to be getting people that are interested in either those topics or those products. Therefore, you almost certainly ensure that you are getting very specific laser, laser targeted traffic to click on your ads and subsequently go to a landing page where you, for example, promote that specific drone or promote that specific mountain bike or if it's like lower back pain, people type in how to reduce lower back pain. They see your ad about how to reduce lower back pain, takes them to a landing page which promotes some kind of product that helps them reduce lower back pain. There's a very high quality relevancy flow through that funnel that I just explained to you and as a result, you get higher click throughs, higher quality traffic, basically laser targeted traffic and as a result, you increase your chances of getting high conversions. It's not going to be working 100% of the time. It also depends on how you set up your sales funnel, but it's one of the best ways, actually in my opinion, it is the best way to create an ad, not just on Google Ads, but on other networks out there. So for sh sharing with you how I actually do that, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be uh, uh, linking to this page that promotes this drone. It's called the Mavic 2 Pro. It's a very specific and popular drone that's been out, and it still gets a lot of people searching for it online. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a Google ad that specifically caters to people who type in keywords related to the Mavic 2 Pro so only they can see that ad. I don't want my ad to advertise for people interested in drones or other drone models that are out there. I want it to be specific to this specific drone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to Google in a moment moment uh, to Google Ads that is and I'm just going to uh, create that first ad so uh, what we're gonna do right now is I'm gonna head to the home page of Google Ads over here it's loading up just a moment sometimes it takes a while I'm gonna click on new campaign 
And after I click on new campaign, I'm going to select website traffic. And for all the details of why I'm doing what it is that I'm doing, again, the course explains in detail all of this. This is just basically a crash course on this topic, a summary of it rather. I'm going to click on website traffic, then this is going to pop up. Don't worry about this. Click on continue. Then I'm going to click on search because I want my Google ad to appear on Google search. Now it's going to ask me for my website. In this case, I'm going to take the URL, which I'm going to be linking to, and I'm going to paste it over here. And I'm going to mention my campaign as Mavic to Pro so I can actually identify what it is. Now, I'm going to click on continue. Now, in this stage, I'm going to click on clicks and I'm going to set a maximum cost per click of 30 cents. Generally speaking, Google sometimes, most of the time, especially now, suggests that they kind of take the wheel and they tell you, you know, how, how much we recommend that you spend. And very often it can be a lot of money. So I tend to kind of like to be in control of my spending when it comes to that. Now, there is a section of this where after I finish the ad, I'm actually going to change the settings because there's a setting in here that's not available. It's only available after you create the ad. I know it sounds a little bit complicated. It used to be available on the front end when you were creating your ad, but now Google Ads has kind of hidden that and now it's available on the back end. So that's just the way it works. I'm not the one that made the rules. I'm just sharing with you how I consistently make ads. It just it, There's a two-step process to it now versus a one-step, but whatever. Just keep following along with this. Now in this area where it says networks, make sure you check this off, that this is the only one that's checked, which is the search network. Now it's gonna ask you where you wanna advertise. Personally, I'm gonna advertise in the United States and Canada. You can select countries and re regions over here, as many as you want. Uh, me personally, I'm just gonna keep it to United States and Canada. I'm going to skip this part because this is an English uh, website. Then I'm going to click on next. Now, see where it says add group one. I'm going to click on this pencil and I'm going to type in Mavic 2 Pro. In other words, the exact same name that I used for my campaign. Now, as you can see, this uh, URL passed off from the other section that I filled up before. And what's going to happen is it's going to auto-generate certain keywords. I typically like to remove them because sometimes Google will get it right and give you the right keywords, and sometimes it'll get it wrong. I don't want to you know, sift through all of this kind of stuff and just see what's right and wrong, so I just erase it all and keep it to the most relevant keywords. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in Mavic 2 Pro, Mavic 2 Pro Review, Mavic 2 Pro Reviews, Mavic 2 Pro versus Mavic 3. It's just these general keywords. You don't need dozens or hundreds of keywords to get a lot of high quality targeted traffic. Generally speaking, most of the keywords, most of the clicks are going to come from these two keywords. So I'm going to then um, copy this. And the, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make two versions of this. The first one is going to have quotes around them, which is going to be for phrase match. And the second one is going to be with brackets around it, which is going to be for the exact keyword. Now, this is very, very important. You want to label your keywords this way, especially when it comes to these types of keywords. And the reason why is because uh, there's different sections over here where it says broad. Broad is basically without any quotes or any brackets. And the problem with broad is that you're, if you, for example, do it this way, your uh, ad might show up for, thing like, for things like Mavic or Pro or 2. Very irrelevant traffic can pop up that way. But if you put quotes around it, you're basically telling Google only appear for the phrase, which is Mavic 2 Pro or Mavic Pro 2, something like that, or an exact, which means the exact keyword this way. Now, nobody's going to type it into Google with quotes or brackets around them, but you can label this on the back end so it will appear when people type it normally on Google. That's the way you want to do it. For more information about why that is, my course explains all of that. But basically, once you're done with this, you're going to see on the right it says weekly clicks. This is usually not accurate in my personal experience, uh, but uh, don't worry about this. If it shows very little clicks, that's okay. We're basically making a very specified ad over here. Now for this section of the ad, the URL uh, came through and I'm going to type in Mavic 2 Pro over here. And you're going to see it pop up over here. See that Mavic 2 Pro. What I'm basically doing is I'm setting up my ad so it's very relevant for people that see um, that type in the keywords related to Mavic 2 Pro. I, I basically want people to see my ad and their eyes to be drawn to it. And the more they see the words Mavic 2 Pro, the more likely that is to happen. Now in this next section, you're going to see that there's headlines available. And I click on the plus sign here all the time. And there's going to be 15 headlines available. And then you're going to have up to four descriptions available. Sometimes they'll be auto-filled based on what Google picks up from your website. I like to erase all of this. 
And what I'm going to do is, in a moment, I'm actually going to uh, pause this video because I want to fill this in myself just to give you an idea of how this works. I don't want to, like, I have to brainstorm some of this, so I don't want this video to be too long. But basically, for the first headline that's up here, I'm going to type in Mavic 2 Pro Review. Usually, the first headline is where I type the name of the product and the word review. And see, the, see this pen option over here? I'm going to click it, and I'm going to select Show in Position 1. Now, you're going to notice that as I fill all of these headlines, a couple of things are going to happen. More of these are going to be green, and you're going to see the ad strength go from incomplete to something like average or good, and the, uh, the, the circles over here fill up in blue. That's very important. The higher your ad strength, the lower you will pay, and the more clicks you will get. So you want that to happen. So I'm going to pause this ad right now, fill in the rest of these headlines, and over here in the description, by the way, I'm going to type in my review of the Mavic 2 Pro, and I'm also going to pin this to position one and I'm going to fill these in. So I'm going to pause this video right now and then I'm going to get back to it afterwards. Okay, so I filled in a lot of these headlines. In fact, I filled in all of them. And what you'll notice is that as I filled in the four descriptions and 15 headlines, the ad strength went from incomplete to average. And you're going to see that a lot of these uh, circles have filled in. Ideally, you want this all to be filled in, but I've only had this literally happen once. Sometimes no matter what you do, you just can't get these to fill up. But if you have an ad strength of average, that's good to start with. And what you're going to notice is the one that I pinned at the top over here, which is this, this stays the same. And these headlines, which are 14 of them, they get mixed up, as you can see over here. So what Google does is it keeps this one at the first headline that's up here, but it mixes the second headline, which is this one, and the third one, which is this one, and it sees which ones are the best. Same thing for description, which is actually down here. This one is pinned, so it doesn't move. But the second um, uh, description, that's going to rotate. So it's going to rotate this one, this one, and this one to see which one matches best with this. So now that the ad is complete, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Done. And after I click on Done, I'm going to click on Next. Now, I'm going to skip the site link thing because I do affiliate marketing. This is more for physical businesses. I don't need this. Now, here it says Image Extensions. You're going to click on this. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to click on New Image Extension, click the plus sign, go to scan, not scan a website, you're going to click on Stock Images, and you're going to type in Drone. Because what we're going to do is we're going to add an image to our ad that basically shows the drone that's closest looking to it, if not exact. So that just makes it more eye-catching when the ad pops up. So I'm going to type in Drone, hit Enter, and you're going to see a lot of different drones pop up. Now, in this case, this drone, this is the Mavic 2 Pro. So I'm going to click on this. And I'm going to click this as well. So now these two are checked. Click on select two ratios. I actually have these two already selected, so I'm not going to uh, do it again. Uh, in your case, you're going to click on select two ratios. I'm going to go back. I'm going to cancel. I already have them over here, so I'm going to click on these two. And I'm going to basically click next afterwards. And uh, this is going to ask me for a budget. I'm going to set a custom budget. This is where you want to be in control. Typically, I'll set it to like $25 or $30 a day. I'm going to click on next. Google is going to tell me, hey, you know, we recommend a higher budget because if you want to get more clicks and so on and so forth, I don't want to do this. I'm still going to click on publish campaign. And now the campaign is going to publish, but remember, I said there's a two-step process to this. I'm going to go back into the campaign, which is where it takes me to right now. I'm going to click on settings. And once I click on settings, I'm going to click over here where it says bidding. I'm going to click this down here. I'm going to t click on change bid strategy. Now, this area right here where it says not recommended, this was not in the original uh, ad creation process. So I'm gonna, it is available now. That's what I want. You're going to click on the down arrow, and you're going to see this new one pop up called Manual CPC. You're going to click on it. You're going to remo uh, cl click on this. Uh, actually, re remove this. Click on Save. So now what's going to happen is you're going to go back to where it says the uh, ad group. And you're going to notice that it says default max CPC right now. You're going to click on the button over here where it says edit, and you're going to change it to 30 cents. And you're going to ask, be asked to save this twice. So now, basically what's happening is Google will not charge you more than 30 cents for every click this ad gets. I'm going to click on this just on the keywords over here just to make sure it's all set to 30 because when you change the settings, it might go back to one penny over here. So make sure it's the default bid. So basically that's how I set up my Google Ads and I've done this experiment before many times. I've gotten like maybe... Uh, 60, 70 clicks in like two, three days. Very high CTR, very high, re highly relevant traffic that knows what the Mavic 2 Pro is. And this is the template that I've been following re regardless of whatever product I'm promoting or whatever topic. This works. And if you want more information about this, I highly recommend you check out my 
full seven class course, uh, which again, there's more information on over here. But uh, if you click on the link in the description or the pinned comment, you're going to get a lot more information about that as well as the awesome limited time deal that's going on for it right now. So take advantage of that if you're someone that's interested in learning Google Ads and how to succeed in online business in general. And I hope that this video was very helpful for you. So thanks a lot. And if you have any questions or comments, let me know as well. Take care.